okay so the question is an array of n numbers is given where n is an even number the maximum as well as the minimum of these n numbers needs to be determined which of the following is true about the number of comparisons needed so you are given an array okay so this is some array of numbers that is given to you some numbers are inside these and it's in uh, total numbers are even okay n is even there are n numbers in total you have to find the maximum and the minimum number in this array and you have to tell that for that algorithm which of these will be true so it's like if you look at the language of these option at least these many comparisons at most these many comparisons at least these many comparisons so it suggests you that what is the best you can do okay so when it says that at least these many comparisons are needed so it means that you cannot do better than that okay and and at most uh, if it is saying at most then you have to think it in a slightly different way so then this guy is talking about the best algorithm you can do something with okay so because the best algorithm in the worst case will need these many comparisons or so that's what you have to answer or this is the case okay so uh, you can you can try to do it in an iterative manner and like you can you can have a variable that stores max and you can have a variable that stores min okay and then you, you can keep on comparing with the elements in the array the subsequent elements that you encounter and keep changing your max and keep changing your min so it you can kind of get an idea that if you keep on doing that you will get something like 2n all right because you're doing comparisons for max also in an iterative manner like going from left to the right of the array and keep updating your max and you can do for the min also like that okay so it kind of gives you this idea that 2n would come okay maybe you will need slightly less but there would be 2n out there okay so but what we are trying to find is that can we do better than that can we have this thing can can we have this 1.5 instead of 2n and it turns out that you can do it and the algorithm that you need for that is divide and conquer okay so if you use divide and conquer to to find your maximum and minimum you can do better okay so what you do in divide and conquer you have your array you divide it into two parts okay and then you recurs on both the parts okay so uh, I'll, I'll slightly quickly give you this idea of divide and conquer how it will work in this case so suppose this is your algorithm so what you will do first thing that you're gonna do is divide it into two parts okay the first parts contains n by two elements and the second part contains n by two elements and you apply the same thing on this uh, the first part you apply the same algorithm on the second part that's the idea of recursion and what you do is you you try to you obtain max and min okay for this max one and min one for this one okay for the one in the left you you find max one and min one for this half of this part okay so the the splitted arrays that you got okay and similarly you find max two and min two for this part okay so that is this max is the maximum for the, the maximum uh, for this part okay so the largest element out here and this min one is the smallest element on this left side and this max is the largest element on the right side and min two is the smallest element on the right side then what you do so you have to finally tell what is the largest for this complete array and what is the least for this complete array so what you do is you compare max to max okay you compare these two and the greater of these two will be the max for the total array and you similarly you compare these two min min and the least of these two will be 
the min of the total thing so if you if you try to write the recurrence relation how will it look like t n will be equal to 2 times of t n by 2 plus okay so you you plus so what do you do for this merging part okay for this after you, the conquer part also you can say so you have these two arrays and you know the max and min of this part you know the max and min of this part then you need two more comparisons all right these things you see out here in magenta these are the two more comparisons you need so the exact solution to this recurrence relation is your answer okay that's what you have to do so I'll solve this recurrence relation so what I'll do is I will write this two out here and I'll apply the same recurrence relation for this thing so so what what will t n by 2 becomes it will becomes 2 times okay or maybe I should use a, a slightly different color so that you get what is from the previous part and what is from the new part so 2 is the same as earlier this this 2 and this t n by 2 I'm going to change so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 2 times t n by 4 plus 2 for instead of this t n by 2 that's what I wrote is it this must be fine because I'm applying the same recurrence relation to just this thing so instead of n I have n by 2 so this is fine and uh, this plus 2 is from the previous one okay and you 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 solve it so what do you get you get 2 square t and by instead of 4 I can write it 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 okay and then you can apply the same thing again so 2 square you can write so now what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll apply the reconciliation to this thing t n by 2 square so what will I get I'll get 2 times t n by I'll divide this thing by 2 2 cube okay this thing okay plus 2 this is what I will get and these yellow ones are from the previous ones so this is what you get from this thing and if you simplify this whole thing uh, what are you going to get let me just quickly write what are you going to get so you're going to get 2 cube t n by 2 cube okay and then plus 2 cube plus okay so this thing I have to uh, this is just 2 okay I, I wrote it by mistake because this is just 2 so this is 2 cube and this is 2 square plus 2 so this is what you will get so far and you have to finally get this thing to a simpler form that's what you want to do so what do I get from here so I think I'm going to rub it all and write it again over here okay so I am removing everything I wrote so far okay so this is removed and this is what I got okay so basically it gives me that my tn is of the form 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube like this it will if you keep on simplifying this thing if you keep on applying that recurrence relation to this thing you will get ultimately something like this this is a general term you can say okay t n by 2 raised to r okay and when will you reach the end uh, i mean when when can you replace this uh, this t thing okay when can you replace this t thing with some number so let's do this thing so suppose you have decreased your array you are decreasing the size and you have reached something like this okay and there is some number here some number here let's say like this so now what you do 
so this is basically t2 okay your array size is only 2 so what is the value of t2 to find t2 what do you need you need a max and min what do you want to do you have to compare these two okay you compare these two the bigger one becomes max and the smaller one becomes min so you need one comparison in t2 so this kind of tells you that t2 is equal to 1 so this tells you that t2 is equal to 1 so this thing will end when you will have t2 out here so when will you have t2 out here you will have t2 out here when n raised to 2 r is equal to 2 or n is equal to 2 raised to r plus 1 or r plus 1 is log base 2 n this is when this whole thing will end okay and what is this what is this thing this is a gp all right so I'll, I'll quickly write this thing what i need out here so this thing will end when r plus 1 is equal to log 2 n and i'm going to wrap this so that i can write here okay so this is gone now so this thing is a gp and and what is the sum of this gp the sum of this gp is the first term into the common ratio which is 2 to the power number of terms there are r terms minus 1 upon common ratio minus 1 so that is 2 minus 1 this is the sum of this part okay this blue thing and what about this part so this is 2 raised to r and when we reach the end this thing becomes 2 so t2 is 1 that's what we have said so this thing is like this okay and if you go ahead further this becomes 2 raised to r plus 1 and this is minus 2 this will become 1 so this is 2 raised to r and minus 2 that's what you get okay so <sighs> So what did you have here so if you look at this thing what does this thing tell you about 2 raised to r plus 1 so this okay we just got it from that thing so this thing tells you what is 2 raised to r plus 1 this thing tells you that 2 raised to r plus 1 is what n so instead of this 2 raised to r plus 1 you can write n and instead of this 2 raised to r you can write n by 2 by the same expression and then minus 2 and this becomes 3 by 2 minus uh, n minus 2 which is finally 1.5 n minus 2 okay so yeah so we could do better than this so this must be the correct choice and this is like too big it's n log n so this is definitely our correct answer